वेलकम गाइज दिस इज़ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फोर्थ ऑफ नेट दिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड एटीन सो इट्स अ क्वेश्चन फ्राम कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस लेट एस रीड द क्वेश्चन लेट एफ सज दैट सी टू सी बी अ नॉन कॉन्स्टेंट इंटायर फंक्शन ओके सो एफ इज अ नॉन कॉन्स्टेंट इंटायर फंक्शन एंड लेट इमेज एफ ओके सो दिस इज द डिफिनेशन ऑफ इमेज एफ इमेज एफ विल कंटेन ऑल दोज एनिमेट सज दैट देर एग्जिस्ट एलिमेंट बिलोंगिंग टू सी सज दैट एफ ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू ओके सो दिस इज द बेसिक डेफिनेशन एवरी वन नोज नाउ वट आर द ऑप्शन द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन से इज द इंटीरियर ऑफ इमेज एफ इज एम पी टी नाउ द सेकेंड ऑप्शन से इज इमेज एफ इंटरसेक्ट एवरी लाइन पासिंग थ्रू द ओरिजिन द थर्ड ऑप्शन से इज देर एग्जिस्ट अ डिस्क इन द कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लेन विच इज डिस जॉइंट फ्रॉम इमेज एफ the fourth option says image of f contain all its limit point okay so what is given to us that f is a non constant entire function okay so if you must uh, if you have studied complex analysis then you must have studied a theorem that's a very important theorem and uh, known as basically the little picards theorem okay so little picards theorem okay this you must remember or just revise it from here okay so what little picard's theorem says that if a function f such that c to c is a non constant entire function okay then f of c okay what is f of c f of c is image of c that is defined there okay image of f and f of c is same f of c is either the whole complex plane the whole complex plane c the whole complex plane c or the plane minus a single point that is c minus a singleton set okay so okay, i will just write it as like this now this is the uh, this is li- little picard's theorem what it says that if f is a fun- entire function from c to c then f of c is either a whole complex plane or the or the plane minus a single point okay that means if you have a complex plane okay let us suppose this is your complex plane okay now this is your complex plane and f is a function from your complex plane okay complex plane to your complex plane so f is actually a function from complex plane to complex plane then what this theorem says that fc is either the whole plane okay the image of f is either the whole plane so what it says that its image is either the whole complex plane okay this is whole complex plane or its image is either the whole complex plane minus a singleton set okay suppose this is the point a uh, okay i will just denote it like this a whole here okay so what it says that uh, this is real axis and this is imaginary axis so this is a complex plane so theorem says if it is a non constant entire function then it uh, either it is this one or either it is this one this one means you have eliminated this point from the complex plane and it's a single point that you have eliminated okay now come back to the uh, options the interior of image f is empty okay uh, it's not possible because you see the interior of whole complex plane is is, is the whole complex plane and also you see the interior is not empty in both the cases okay if you take this case or this case you see in both the cases the interior of the image f is non empty so this option is directly false okay now the option 2 says image f intersects every line passing through the origin 
so you see your image if is either the whole complex plane or this one so if you if you draw a line passing through the origin okay so it intersect every line image of intersect every line that passes through the origin okay so if you draw any line here then image f is going to intersect this plane now in this case if you draw any line however it pass through this point which i have eliminated but it still it will intersect this whole plane okay it will it is intersecting the whole plane so any line that passes through the origin intersects intersect mean that, that there should be at least one point of intersection so you see if a line passes through this point also which i have eliminated then it, it, still it is intersecting the plane okay so your b option is correct okay now come back for the third third one so, so the third third option says that there exists a disk in the complex plane which is disjoint from the image f okay so what the third option says that there exists a disk in the complex plane which is disjoint from the uh, image f so just think over it how can you make a disk on the complex plane that is disjoint from the image f because you know image f is is uh, image f is uh, image f is either the whole plane or the plane uh, which is eliminate which eliminates a point from itself so if you try to make a disk centered at this point which i have eliminated still it will intersect the plane so this option is already false now image now the fourth one says the image of f contain all its limit point okay so this is not true because if you see this is our point that we have eliminated if you see this point this this is represented as c minus a okay so what i am saying that a is also a limit point what is the definition of limit point first of all we should understand that okay so i will define what is limit point okay so you must be knowing it the point z not is a limit point of the set uh, say set s okay if and only if every neighborhood n of z not contains at least one point of s other than other than z not okay so this is the definition of limit point now just take this case okay now firstly take this this case now in this case image f contain all its limit point because it's the whole complex plane we have basically two cases so in this case image f contain all its limit point because it's the whole complex plane now come back to this case okay which is creating problem now take this point as your z not point okay and take any neighborhood around it and take any neighborhood around z not you will find that if you take any neighborhood around z not it will intersect the plane other than the other than the point z not also so z not is a limit point okay or you can take just a counter example just see that fz is equal to e to the power z is is a con non constant entire function and its image if you see the image of this function for this case image of this function is actually c minus 0 okay so you see it's c minus 0 so you take this as your counter example but you will see that 0 is the limit point okay so 0 is the limit point that's why your fourth option is false because if you take any neighborhood that will intersect that plane so your fourth option is false your second option is correct okay so thank you guys